my mama told him, my mama told me to bring Salem to Nashville and have him move to Nashville with us. I said, uh-uh, y'all not going to take him and make him y'all child. Uh-uh, I'm going to go to hell. Oh, I see Isa Dill trying to follow me because Judge wouldn't ask that question. No, don't follow me now, bitch. Jalen, okay, were you talking to Ace from jail? Oh, I love that question. I really do. What? <clears throat> so, yeah, I got a question. So, um, while I was incarcerated, um, Jalen and Ace were, um, <laughs> Um, narcissist um, in Panama, I mean, in Miami Beach. Um, my question is, why did Jalen Ace stay in Florida? And what was the cause of the psychotic psychosis bitch getting put out in Orlando, Florida? Well, um, I mean, he was fighting every single day. I can say that. Um, he so he said he was fighting for love, or was he fighting? I feel like he was fighting himself. I feel like he was really fighting demons. Um, while we was on the way down there, I feel like he already knew he fucked up by bringing Ace because everything was kind of gonna get exposed, and he didn't want that. So like every time we went to a gas station, I felt like he just triggered an argument. And I didn't fuck with it. I don't know. He he's really something's wrong with him, like mentally. I don't know. But to <laughs> um, he spazzed out. Like he just started shaking and shit. He was on the phone with his dad, and um, it was <laughs> Ace ended up um, throwing a Patron bottle at him while he was driving. We was at Seven Eleven, and yeah, he had to get the fuck out. Okay, so um, can you say you and Ace acquired a friendship while y'all were um, on this road trip together? Yeah. I Ace to I, I, I wouldn't say it was a friendship. I would say it was a respect thing. Like, I feel like okay. we both understood okay. what it was. Um, so with that being said, I they needed each other at the time. Um, uh, Ace told me yesterday on the phone that he had my double day. I need you to acquire that, please. Um, <laughs> yes, that's what I've been looking for. Yes, all of those clothes came from Burlington, and I don't want to have to go to Burlington again and buy them again. So um, the whole bag came from Burlington. Even the bag came from Burlington. Everything came from Burlington. You know, I love Burlington. My outfit I got on right now came from Burlington. Um, Shamar, the, the two outfits Shamar wore while we was, the whole two months we was out of town came from Burlington. Um, so Burlington... I don't want to have to go spend no more money at Burlington when I got a full double bag of Burlington clothes. Uh, it was told to me that some of the girls and boys that were at Gutter K's house were acquiring and um, repossessing my clothes. I'm putting them in nasty, infected ass bodies. Um, I just want to say something to Gutter K's cast members of the show that is never going to get anywhere um, because she has a bunch of retards on the show. <laughs> Fucking bag you. Stop wearing my clothes. You know, I heard Ace and Vontae got the fight in over Chris Peely, and it was just, it was a lot going on. Um, yes, I had an informant that called, well, I called them yesterday on the jail call, and they told me all about the fights that happened, and people were getting bare days, and, oh, I got another question that just came to my head. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sucking my order right now. I'm here, so Jalen and uh, Abby, can y'all put the money on my books, please? Thank you so very much. Um, yes, baby. Right now. Um, and I want to complete my order. Thank you very much. Um, Judge, can I have $25 of your money, too? Thank you. Um, and anybody else that's on the live that wants to send a $25 donation, you can do that right got now. It. I'm ready to submit my order <laughs> as we speak. What did he say? He do didn't. you take food stamps? Oh, girl, well, we need to get you that, that platinum blonde wig out the closet. I need, I'm going to put it out of retirement. Oh, Judge, you might have to look at that dish. Uh, it's still up here in the cabinet. I, oh, I need a Jalen. Could I borrow one of your eggs? Hold on. <clears throat> Wait, does J Rock wear wigs? Or Jalen, you say? Jalen do. They say, do J Rock see himself? Do J Rock see himself marrying Jalen? Um. Well, J 
Jaden you know, Hayes. The game is me and Jalen have talked about that for five plus years now, and you know what? Um, this time, we, me and Jalen have never really taken each other well. I'm <laughs> serious until so now. Um, I didn't take Jalen serious until he paid for that hundred dollar Uber to come to my hotel to come take care of me. Um, when I had to beat up, that's when I took him serious. I never. Me and Jalen was just a thing that was just keeping each other company at this. So, but, so why don't you, know, you stop lying to him and take him serious and treat him like the queen that he is, well, then, nigga? If you let me finish, you fat egg, so fat, <laughs> let me finish, I'm just going to get you. Because you got my child in your stomach, don't mean I'm respectful, fragile, and You don't got to respect me. I'm asking a real-ass question. And now hurry up and answer it. Bitch. Oh, they say, j Rock, why can't you ask Tommy? You sent him 200 for Shamar. I forgot you sent him that $200. Because Tommy don't have no real money. Next. <laughs> why would I ask a broke bitch for some money? Well, go back to my question. When you going to start treating Jalen like the queen that he needs to be treated like and put a ring on his motherfucking finger and come home to him every night? How do you feel about, um, this is a serious question. That was serious. Hold on. This is a serious question, y'all. How do you feel about Jalen transform um transformation? Like him transferring into being the trainer? Now, now, now honestly, you're finna piss me the fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Jalen's trans? This is uh, this is really a serious question that I am gonna answer. Um Jalen's transformation mentally and as an adult. Um Jalen has transformed See, he th um, he think about it another way. I could have been talking about it like that, J. Rock. Go ahead. Well, the, I'm gonna answer it like that. Um, Jalen will get mad if any. You, you have one minute left. They live. Hold on, but I'm gonna call back. I'm gonna get into this, so this is gonna be a good one. The caller has hung up. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, hey, Jalen, what's going on? Hey, what's up, you? He accepts you for who you are, Jalen, even though you used to be a whore. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Before she let me get on this goddamn motherfucker. Yes, I, please do. I've been waiting for you to get I, on. But I do show my ass and my dick from time to time. Okay. So put your face on here because I want to see you. No, nobody. Who, who are you scared of? When they send me stuff and I'll get my face on the camera. Oh, oh when it's about. He has show some ding a ling in it if y'all see him. Thanks, all of y'all who started following me. <laughs> now, whoever followed me, I'm sending y'all pictures, all these inbox pictures I got of all these niggas who be on Judges Live. I'm going to share it on my close story. Judge, are you on my close friends list? Um, I don't know. Did you put me on there? I think I did. Judge, I already sent you that picture that that boy sent me. You know what, boy? Don't say the name. Oh, yeah. Did you think it was big? Uh-uh. Uh you didn't? It was average. You talking about it? Yes. You don't got to The last one I sent you. <laughs> it was okay. Hold on, because I think it was somebody else. The one sitting down in the chair. You know, you send me so many of them to... Hmm. You know which one. The one who you said you wanted. Um, oh, it was okay. What did you think? I thought it was too big for me. Mm. Stop coughing over here, bitch. That's true. <laughs> you talking to third person, eh? No, I'm not. That's your daddy coughing. I call you baby daddy. Didn't you say you go with my daddy? <laughs> yeah. Okay, hello. Hello. 
Yeah. Yes, we here. Do you want to fight today? Yeah, you back on. Okay, so back to what I was saying. Um, Jalen has mentally showed me something that he has never showed me before. Um, and I promise you, he could probably say the same about me. Um, I feel like we have hit our grown man stages in life. Jalen has always showed me his grown man stage, but he has some dicks and necks that would bother me. And I think that's the reason why, that on my end, I know we was there, the reason why we was never successful because of me. But on his end, he did have some dicks and necks that bothered me. But over the last, ever since I've been in Houston and he's been around, he has showed me something totally different. It's like a I've been showing. That I've been dealing with. You want the ring. You. It's time for you to make that decision. Oh. So Jay didn't want to be proposed to you guys. Well, how bust down middle part. Oh, that's Jaylen. Oh. Uh-huh. <clears throat> 